I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So, you know, when I started this whole like downfall series video, very much so just a hobby, which it still is, but you know, it was quarantine, just up in the house, nowhere to go. Like I started noticing things about certain brands and again, because of the pandemic, I started uh, realizing that it was hitting businesses, it was hitting uh, brands, stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. That's why I started doing the video. So there were brands like I could see like, oh, you know, you used to be like that, but now you're kind of like this. Like I could see, but if you notice like the last year or so, you know, brands, businesses have been coming out of this stuff. When I start these videos, I'm like, you know, I wasn't really expecting that this is the conversation we would be having in the year 2022, 2023. And I can say that again, because if you had told me like last year that people would be having a conversation that the, the Kardashian empire has fallen, but here we are. And that's what we're about to do. So if you guys wanna know what people are talking about, let's go. So yes, you heard me correctly. Um, I've actually started seeing this conversation, I wanna say like mid to late last year, but recently very much so, a lot of people are having talks on if you know the empire of the Kardashian family is falling, if they are losing their influence, all that stuff for I think like three, like a couple of reasons which we'll get into. And I feel like, you know, if you clicked on this video, then you click because you know who I'm talking about. You want to know why people are saying that. But if you don't, Kardashian family is probably one of the most talked about popular families in pop culture in the last, like, decade or so. Um, you know, it's, it's a, that's their last name, the Kardashians. They've got a whole bunch of sisters and brothers and... Chris Jenner is the mastermind behind all of it. They've got TV shows, they've got businesses. I know you're lying! It'll turn off in a second. But Kylie Cosmetics, Good American, Skims. I know Kendall has like tequila or something. I know Courtney has something. Rob, I think, has socks. Like they all have businesses that we've seen, all that stuff. Um, and you know, for the last like decade-ish, they've definitely made headlines over, you know, the styles that they wear, um, the people that they date, that just, just a lot, you know, without you know, starting to get messy in this video. Um, but it seems recently a lot of people have been talking that it seems the influence that they once had is not there anymore. Now keep in mind, I think like most of them have over a hundred million followers right I know like Kim and Kyle be, ba be battling over like who's going to be the one with the most followers um, but definitely have a lot of eyes on them and recently people have been saying that it just doesn't seem the same right especially like here in the beauty community back in the day um, you know that blue eyeshadow look with Kim and Mario everybody in the mama done tried that look at least once right um, Kylie the Kylie lip kits um, Kylie and that blue hair, Kylie and the plumped up lips. You remember back in the day, like before TikTok, those videos, was this, was Vine still around when they were doing that? When people were literally like doing things to inflate their lips because of Kylie Jenner. So, so like you can pinpoint different moments where people were like, they had that type of influence. So lately, you don't hear much about them as far as controversy you don't really even hear much about them as far as like trend setting anything like that so people have been saying mm, it's looking like you're not that influential anymore and let's keep it about the kardashians are influencers i was just having this conversation the other day celebrities are also influencers but here's the thing not well i categorize the kardashians as socialites who are very popular you know like karuchi is a socialite she's also an actress but she's a socialite uh, Drea is a socialite, right? These are very, they're very popular, but if you ask, like, what do they do? You're like, hmm. Well, they own businesses, they own, but they're not entertainers. They're not those type of celebrities. They're not A-list celebrities. Um, but I was having this conversation that celebrities are also influencers, but not every celebrity is an influencer. I think some people think being a celebrity is enough for you to be influential, and it's not, which is why there's celebrity influencers, there's socialite influencers because those specific people have it in them where they can make you want to buy something and we were just kind of talking about this with beyonce in that ivy park video rihanna is also an influencer okay um 
trying to think of celebrities who are cardi b is an influencer you got people buying them mcdonald's meals which is and you'll notice it because those are also the celebrities that you see working everywhere they've got the super bowl commercial they've got this deal saweetie okay she had what crocs she had a mcdonald's meal she had for a good minute i heard more about saweetie's deals more than saweetie's music SZA with the crocs all that type of stuff like those are celebrities who are also influencers i categorize the kardashians as socialites but they were influencers and lately i can't name anything that they've influenced again you see how i just named the the stuff back in the day so people were saying that they're so a couple things that have people saying that they are not influential anymore is that the first thing their show isn't Okay, well, what people are saying is that their show isn't doing well anymore. If you don't know, they no longer have uh, Keeping Up With The Kardashians on E! News. They are now on Hulu under, the show is called The Kardashians, I believe. And people were saying there's no buzz about the show. No one talks about it like they talked about Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Um, the ratings aren't the same. All that stuff, right, on why the show is not doing well. When I think about that reason, I think like, even when the show was still on E! News, you didn't hear about Keeping Up With The Kardashians like you would have in 2012, right? Like even then, you, you didn't hear about the show like you hear about Real House of the Potomac or Real House of the Atlanta. Like you didn't hear that type of interaction with it or like live tweeting, anything like that, even when they were still on E! News. So that, that wasn't going to magically change just because they're on Hulu, because it's the same show. It's literally the same show. They just brought it to a, a different, um, streaming service for you to watch it on. So I'm not really sure if that would qualify as why they've fallen off, especially because it says the Kardashians becomes Hulu's most watched premiere in America. The streamer did not provide specific viewing numbers as the platform does not release ratings. Outside of actual subscriber numbers, which Disney has to reveal for shareholders, the Disney owned streamers have never given out any actual viewership data. Hulu also claims the new show is the most watched star original series. So not including Disney's Marvels or Star Wars streaming titles on Disney Plus and Star Plus across global markets. I also saw that they're like getting ready to film season three, which I didn't even realize. <laughs> They've had like two seasons come out. I did hear like a little something when I think the first season came out, because I think on that first season they were talking about Kim's kids d discovering the tape. Um, but I haven't heard anything since so I didn't even know that they were close to it or they're starting a season three. But at least with Hulu, Hulu said, oh, we're fine over here. Don't worry about us over here, okay? Another reason people think that it's just not the same for the Kardashians anymore is uh, the Metcal is in a couple weeks, if you guys did not know. And I did see reports saying that Anna Wintour is cracking down on the, um, on the guest list who was able to attend. And I think one of the reasons for that is, especially in the last few years, there's been a lot of talk about um, influencers being invited to the Met Gala, you know, uh, James Charles, Jackie Ina, uh, Emma Chamberlain, I think also attended. There's been a lot of talk about influencers attending events in general. Like I think it was like Nikita Dragon went to the VMAs. I did, I did see Emma Chamberlain at the Oscars um, Vanity Fair after party the other day. There's been a lot of talk about influencers being there and taking spots from, you know, uh, celebrities, entertainers, people who deserve to be sitting in the seat. Um, you know, there was a whole Andre saying that, you know, he felt some type of way about Lily Singh being a correspondent for the Met Gala, which I could understand because, you know, when you're qualified for a position, you're qualified to actually do the interviewing and do that type of stuff. And then you see, you know, a YouTuber take that position, I would feel some type of way as well. I don't know if you guys saw, but um, there was a girl, I don't even know what her name is, but I think she's like an Instagrammer. She was interviewing the City Girls at Rolling Loud, I think, last week, something like that. And people were saying like, this is why real journalists are needed because if you watch the interview, very cringe. So I would understand like journalists um, being upset at you taking the chance of them being able to interview the city girls where they can really ask questions and really put like good um, articles together and stuff like that. But just being upset that some people are sitting in the room gets a little bitter, but that's not the point. Um, so I did see that they were cracking down. I think that's one of the reasons that they'll be cracking down. But then I saw another article that said that it is rumored that no Kardashian will be invited to the Met Gala. 
And that's when I started seeing the, the tweets saying, oh, it's really over for them. Like, no one cares about them anymore. Um, they don't have that influence anymore. Uh, even the, the, you know, that the entertainment world doesn't feel they need them anymore because let's keep it a buck. When it comes to these reward, uh, not reward, award shows, when it comes to these things where you have entertainers, um, when you invite them to attend, the point is you think that they're influential enough that their face being seen there is going to give your event some buzz. Like people are going to talk about them being there. People are going to talk about what they're wearing when they're seen there, especially at the Met, at the Met Gala. If you're on Twitter, then you know like people treat the Met Gala like like we used to treat the BET Awards back in the day. Like that was an event that you prepared for. People like, you know what, let me make sure my phone is charged so I can see these Met Gala looks and so I can talk about it and I can tweet about it like I'm a fashion critic myself, right? So to see a family who it was once considered like the most influential family out there not being invited, I see why people are starting to talk. But I also want like people to remember a lot of the entertainment world didn't like the Kardashians and they, they made that pretty clear. Um, like a lot, especially, you know, the ones who, funny enough, it's like the actual celebrities kind of treated this socialite celebrity family how people treat influencers. Like people feel some type of way about influencers being there. A lot of like the A-listers, stuff like that, were kind of looking at the Kardashians the same way, like, I'm Angela Bassett, like, what am I doing sitting next to? I'm not saying that Angela said that, but you get what I'm saying here. Um, so like for years, you know, um, especially in the fashion world, no, you were not getting, or they weren't getting, you know, like front row invitations. They, they didn't start attending the Met Gala until 2013. And Kim was Kanye's plus one. It's not even like it was her own, she was Kanye's plus one when she attended. Now they deny that, you know, they were barred and they weren't invited and stuff like this, but. Mm. So I'm not sure if I could say again that that is, you know, oh yeah, they're falling off or, you know, this is their downfall, anything like that. It makes me question it a little bit. And then another reason I've seen people saying that it, um, they are falling off and they don't have that type of star power that they had back in the day is, I don't know if you guys have seen this whole Selena, Hailey Bieber, Justin Bieber thing. I could not tell you how this thing started. I can tell you I don't care about it. I have seen little snippets of it. I couldn't tell you who's wrong, who's right. I also don't care who's wrong, who's right. But I did notice that I guess Kylie Jenner is somehow involved in this. And um, it was reported that she had lost like 100,000 followers on Instagram due to her involvement in this, right? So I guess like people are taking Selena Gomez aside, or I mean, people are taking sides in general, but enough people have taken Selena Gomez, Gomez's side that 100,000 of them unfollowed, right? Like Hailey Bieber also uh, lost 100,000, or maybe I, I, something like that. They're losing followers, right? And people were saying if Kylie still had the type of influence, same type of star power that she had when she was blue haired Kylie, that wouldn't have happened. People probably would have sided with her. People probably would have dragged Selena Gomez to defend her. So that's just another reason people are saying that it's it's over for them, right? So my thoughts on the situation, do I think this is the downfall of the Kardashians? No. Do I think the Kardashians have lost some influence or they're not the top influencers anymore? Yes. And we talk about that all the time in these downfall videos where just because a brand might have fallen off, doesn't mean it's over for them for that brand because sometimes y'all know i'll be saying in the video like i don't see it for you coming out of this and sometimes i say yeah there might they may not be the the top girl anymore but they're still a very popular brand they're still a brand that makes millions i think it's the same thing in this situation you know if i thought top influencers top socialites right now do the kardashians come to mind no but that's for two reasons but do i mean that means they've fallen off and they have, they're have they not still very influential people? No, I'd be incorrect to say that, right? Now, two of those reasons that I think that, one, you can't always be the, you know, the top girl. It's just how history repeats itself, how history moves on, all that type of stuff. Because back in the day, my Kardashians were Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie, right? But the sweet light, no, what was it called? 
the something life, right? You know that TV show with Nicole and Paris when Paris flipped off the horse? That was my keeping up with the Kardashians back in the day. Back in the day, that was the socialite pair that was the, the influencers that the Kardashians were during their reign, right? The, the low rise jeans and skirts, the, the string in your hair and the different strands of hair color in your hair, very much Paris and Nicole, right? Remember, there were others at the same time. But here we are in, you know, 2023, even if you had said 2017, 2018, would people have told you Nicole Richie and Paris Hilton were the top socialites influencers at the time? No, they wouldn't have. And I think the same thing is what's happening to the Kardashians right now. And I think that's happening for the other reason why I feel their influence has kind of, you know, died down a little bit. And you know, it might sound a little petty, but if we're being real honest, I think this conversation is about Kim and Kylie because the rest of the family, they didn't have that Kim and Kylie type of influence to begin with. I'm just saying, um, but I think that the reason that they're also, you know, not the, the top influence is because they don't want to be. They also don't have to be. They've already made the money. They already have the, you know, at least like two businesses each. Kim's a billionaire. Kylie's close enough. Um, you know, they're set as far as money goes, right? Also, they're getting older. You know, they're in their 40s, 30s, late 20s, somewhere around that. I don't know how old these people are, but they're getting older, right? They have children, except Kendall. You know, they've got relationships and marriages and divorces that are stressful and whatnot. And you can see it, like, they don't want that type of media presence that they might have wanted 10 years ago. 10 years ago, very much so, hey, we're going to be at Oak, meet us there with the, with the cameras so we can be in the magazine, so we can do this, we can do, but they don't have to do that anymore because they already got what they wanted from that. And you'll like, they, especially because they have kids nowadays, Kylie didn't even post about her pregnancy, just popped up, here's a baby, you know? Um, they don't want their children filmed, their children don't like being filmed. Um, so you know that in that, in that mindset of being older and you know having more responsibilities probably realizing uh, i don't want that life of being the top girly where everyone is in my business and everyone knows everything about me also you know some of them that have been embarrassed enough to where they don't want to be the face of you know social media and pop culture and all that stuff so i think that combined is why you know that level of influence is going down for them. I think they kind of want some of that because like I said, they already made it. They don't have to work as hard as they did years ago because when we first, you know, were introduced to them, she was fixing people's closets. She was Paris's closet organizer. She was Brandy's closet organizer, whatever. Not Here we are years later, like I just said, lady's a billionaire, so she doesn't have to do the stuff that she did years ago to be, you know, in your face like that. And like I said, not being as influential does not mean that you're not influential anymore. So they still have enough of a grasp on people's loyalty, people's, you know, wanting to look like them and wanting to, to act like, to, to at least appear to live like them enough where they don't have to do that and they don't have to try as hard as they did to continue living the, the lifestyle that they're used to living, the lifestyle that they want to live. And, and I, I don't necessarily blame them for that. I think it's just a repeating cycle. Like I said, Paris was top girly. Now, maybe not top girly, but she's definitely still eating good. I mean, also these people were already rich. <laughs> these people were already rich um, before that, you know, so living a comfortable life, married, children. Um, I just, my dad just got an email talking about she has a book coming out. So, you know, still getting business deals, still has, people who might baby when i be on twitter and people talking about oh the reign of paris hilton and that's hot so definitely still has that you know loyal uh fan base follower base type thing i think that's exactly the same thing that is happening with the kardashians you know there is a new group of girls out there who they want their face out there they want to be that you know top story on people magazine you know they're they're letting you into their life more so that they can be that top girly for right now. Same way the Kardashians did right now. Kardashians are living that, you know, peaceful. I already made my money. I can live comfortably. I have my kids. I have this, I have, you know, my relationship. 
um, all that good stuff. And the cycle is going to continue. And you know why I also feel like it's going to be hard for their empire to completely fall down? They got to pay damn kids for that. Okay, so they've already got that next, <laughs> they already have that next batch of socialite influencers who are going to keep the family name alive. Give it 10 years, I don't know how old North is, she's gonna be the next, you know, top TikTok girl. She's already a top TikTok girl. You know how much I've seen North on my Twitter page from her TikToks that were brought onto Twitter from people talking about her? And mind you, like, you can't even comment on there because Kim turned the comments off. But like they have North, they have Penelope, they're going to be the next batch. So that's why I don't feel like the, the empire will completely fall off. Again, they're already rich. Then they got all these kids who are going to then become the next group that everyone's talking about and on top and all that stuff. And then after them, the same thing, it'll fizzle out, but they'll still be able to live comfortably. And then the next group, and then the next group, because history repeats itself. I also think, you know, ignoring them will kind of help you feel like their reign isn't here anymore, their influence isn't here anymore because like I only know about the the ratings and the the not being invited to the Met Gala because people that I follow that I know don't like them were talking about it like we're you know oh this is their downfall this is their this that and third so that might also be easier an easier way for you to feel like you know they don't have as much reign anymore is if you stop talking about them if you don't like them. Like I see the same thing with like Jeffree Star, stuff like that. And I'm like, if you just left it to the people who actually like these people, it'd be easier to like feel like you could move on. Especially because like I said, these people are not talked about the same like they were a couple years ago. They're not, you know, in the media as much as they were a couple years ago. So that could also help. That's just a suggestion. So that is it for this video. Um, I know even within my own following, it is very, it seems like it's very down the middle. Like I've got some of my following who hates this family, lets it be known that they hate this family. Family will never get a dime out of them. And then I also have, which, but I also have a very large amount who they, they won't defend them until, until the cows come home. Okay. Like stands, I'm talking stands behind them so I'll be very interested to see what the comments are looking like as far as what you think of the um, Kardashian influence and where it is um, if you're glad that it's kind of falling off if you don't think it's falling off let me know all that in the comments down below but um, yeah I think this is kind of a downfall video it, you, you watch the video you, you know um, so make sure to thumbs up comment subscribe turn on notification bells down below thank you all for watching I'll see you in the next one bye